My name is Jeroen Hostens. I'm the Applications Manager for Bruker MicroCT. And today I will be discussing our latest development is the uh, Skyscan 1275, which is the very fast and very user-friendly MicroCT system. In front of me, I have a wide range of samples uh, covering both material science and life science applications. As you can see, I have an, uh, an inhaler, some geological samples, an electronic device, um, a bone, shell, apple, even a very low dense sample like a foam uh, can be scanned using this device. Um, I'll demonstrate this today by scanning the inhaler. So we can simply place the sample in the device and by a single push of the button the entire process will start. So when the scanner was developed Key features is that we want it to be extremely user-friendly yeah. and also very fast. So as soon as the door is closed, the X-ray source will turn on. And one of the nice features of this scanner is that it will automatically detect the size of the object. And by rotating at different angles, it can look for the maximum diameter of the specific object that you have placed inside. And it can zoom in to the maximal desired um, resolution. Once it's done that, it will actually start the scan by acquiring projection images over multiple angles. Now, as you can see, there's also a small live video inside so that you can have a look uh, um, what's going on while the scan is busy. Optional for this scanner is that it can also come with a range of additional stages. These stages can include uh, for mechanical properties like compression or tension where you can place in the sample and at different uh, loads or at different displacements you can scan repetitively. An alternative different uh, stage that you can use is a heating or a, a cooling stage where again the sample can be heated or cooled to the desired temperature and then at, scanned at that temperature. The total scan time, as you can see, is, is very short. It's typically no more than a couple of minutes. Yeah, depends a bit, of course, on the density and of the voltage that you have. The voltages of the system uh, go up to 100 kilovolts, which is more than sufficient to scan all these, um, all these objects that you can see here in front of you. So at this point in time, the scan is just finished, yeah, just a few seconds left. And as soon as the scan is finished, um, the scan is already is, is ready to, to place in your next object. The, scan bec the, the object becomes available, you can just take it out, yeah, put your next object inside, and again, with a single push of the button, you can scan your next object. In the meantime, the data of the projection images is loaded in the reconstruction program, and using the GPU, which is a graphical card interface, the reconstruction process is very fast. It can speed up the whole reconstruction to a matter of seconds, as you can see here while it's um, running in the background. And once, and you see again, this is fully automated. Once the reconstruction is finished, you have your data set, which is now in 3D, and this can be loaded in the 3D volume rendering program. You can see here now in the background on the screen that we can now virtually cut into our object yeah, and have a look on the inside. Another nice feature that we have developed at Bruker MicroCT is that you can load your data sets onto your mobile device. And this allows you to share your data at conferences or at, you know, during any kind of discussion that you have with colleagues. So you just simply open the, uh, the tab you can download the, the data set onto your mobile device and using the same kind of volume rendering software, you can just easily rotate, scroll through the object, yeah, zoom in, zoom out, and basically cut the objects from any desired angle.